Thanks, Steve. It's, um, what training like this week after, uh, after last week's result? Yeah, obviously after the game, um, you know, it's about being more competitive. So we we had pretty intense trainings this week, and it's about you know just competing and having that will to win. And um, a lot of small sided games, and you know now obviously before this Atlanta game, it's about working on tactics. But um, leading up to that, it's been a lot of competing and just um, you know trying to make sure we're in the right headspace for this game against Atlanta. How's, how's morale? Yeah, it's uh, it's okay. It's obviously it's tough um, after a result like that, but um, you know we know that's not who we are, and hopefully, you know it kind of kicks us in the butt a little bit and gets us moving. And um, you know now we just got to take it one game at a time. But it's about bouncing back from that and putting our best foot forward for the next the next game, which is Atlanta, hard place to play, and so we know what it's going to be like, and um, kind of got to be ready for it. Steve, I'm working on a piece about uh, you know Wayne bringing up some young guys and the academy guys getting opportunities. And I just and since you've been around a while, I wonder what your perspective was on the kids that you're seeing in training and who are coming up up the ranks now. What, what do you think of them, or what have you seen an improvement? Yeah, obviously we've had a lot of younger guys come up this year, and um, I think he's done a good job. He, you know, he has a personal relationship with everyone on the on the um, team, and you know, obviously with the younger guys, you know, he knows when to get in them, but he knows when to put his arm around them and. Um, kind of mentor them, and um, I think it's it's a great um, experience for these young guys to have him as his coach. And you know, he's been there from a young age, obviously, when he played, and so he knows what it's like coming up and becoming a professional. Obviously, it was a you know different level, but um, it's the same type of thing. You know, it's getting in that headspace and knowing how to be a professional soccer player. So um, it's great to have him there and to see um, the guys that are coming up. You know, willing to work and you know do anything they can to really. Get minutes because he's willing to give you know younger guys minutes on the field and you know he's shown that for the last you know I guess the time that he's been here. Would you share your view on like kind of the, the the wider perspective when you play these teams like Philly that are using so many kids and it seems like that's part of the long term model here, right? Yeah, I mean, um, I think yeah, obviously the there's teams around the league that are doing a great job with developing talent and you know not only are they contributing to games but they're also selling them. So um, MLS is. You know, becoming more of those academies. You're not necessarily seeing kids go to college like me who went to, for five years to, to college and come out as a 23 year old. So um, it's pretty cool to see the, the evolution of MLS over the last, I don't know, eight years. Um, and it's gone, you know, much younger and a lot more talent in, in, the, in the States now. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, guys. You're good. Appreciate it. That was nice. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> Short and sweet. <laughs>